oh, I'm tired at the moment and thinking of just the stress and the pressure and, you know, it makes me even more emotional when I look at them. But if people just don't fall in love with them and want to help us to help them in the wild, then there's something wrong, isn't there? <laughs> there's something wrong. As media outlets from across the country arrive, the message about tiger conservation has the potential to reach an international audience. The tiger team want to keep the stress levels low for the cubs, as it could make or break the event. With everyone in place, it's showtime. So many people here. They're on their way, I can hear them, so it's really exciting. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please make welcome Australia Zoo's Head of Tigers, Charles Clark, with our very special guest. As all eyes focus on Spot and Stripe, There's a few people, isn't it? it's vital the Cubs stay relaxed. So what we get you to do, guys, just first of all, is just stay where you are. Just while they get used to seeing so many cameras and all of you in here. The cubs quickly gain confidence and start posing for the cameras. Whoa, right up. <laughs> What's all that noise? <laughs> Alrighty, well welcome along guys. This is Stripe, and the other one over the other side there is Spot. We will be doing cub encounters where guests have the opportunity to come in and meet the cubs. And the good thing for us is not only is that excellent conditioning and training for the tigers, but ultimately that's going to allow us to generate funds and support for uh, tiger conservation. Giles can tell Spot and Stripe are relaxed and invites the media to get their exclusive. Okay, is everyone ready? It's not every day you can get up this close and personal to two very cute tiger cubs, and it's something that the public will have the opportunity to do as well. It will be a paid experience, and all that money will go to help tiger conservation. The cubs should be on display for the next two months. After that, they might be large enough to join the other tigers. It went really well in that the cubs reacted really well to all of the cameras. There were so many people in here, but they went really well. They were wandering around, interacting with the media, which is exactly what we wanted. With the press gone, the public flood in for their first chance to see Spot and Stripe. The whole day so far has been brilliant and the fact that we rock up and there's what, must be at least 50, 60 people already here five minutes before uh, they go on display. So, that's been a really good morning. Those images that they were getting of the Cubs playing with each other and interacting, it should actually go national and fingers crossed might even start to get some exposure globally as well which is great, I don't care how it's out there, as long as we get it out there. The Cubs will now spend their days in the new enclosure, but nights will still be spent with Giles and the family. 